Hey everybody, it's Michael Skeleton here. Today I am going to be unboxing the North Pole Nightmare from Final Girl. This is very exciting. It's a Christmas special. This is actually a uh, special feature, the first and so far only special feature they've released, which just means it's not part of series one, two, or three, um, and its own thing. And it's got some bonuses that we'll be looking at too. So this was discounted on the Series 3 Kickstarter. That's how you got access to it, although you can find it in retailers soon or now-ish. Um, this came in on Monday, which was December 18th for me. I know some people got it about a week sooner. That was their goal is to deliver it by Christmas. So super exciting that they actually did that. The, the Season 3 Kickstarter uh, actually ended... Uh, in October, Friday the 13th. So it's kind of crazy that we already have something in our hands uh, from that Kickstarter. So as I said, this isn't technically part of Series 3. It's a special feature. This has Krampus as the killer, as we'll see soon. And maybe we can look at the side here. And Santa's Village is the location. So first off, special feature. First thing you'll notice, that glossy, shiny Final Girl logo is new. I uh, really like seeing that. So let's do a quick side shot. There's Krampus. And we'll do that side shot there. Oh, it's actually shiny on the sides too. And then on the back, uh, so I haven't opened this yet. It's still sealed. On the back it says Sleigh Bells Ring and Santa's Village. Um, you definitely need the core box to play it. And let's see, included in this box. So everything's pretty normal, but it does show in bold here. You get one epic finale card and four miniatures. So one of the big differences from normal feature films is the miniatures come inside the box here. So if you haven't got any miniatures yet, this might be a good way to try out and see if you like them. Um, there's no way to buy it without it. So there you go. Uh, so I'm gonna take off the shrink wrap here in a second. First thing I wanted to show off though is this card that was packaged with it. Apparently this is uh, from the US distributor saying you've been naughty with a little QR code in case uh, something went wrong. And on the back, it's got Krampus's hit list Christmas hit list uh, with Cindy and Mrs. Claus, the two final girls included in this box. So, oh, and just as a comparison, here we've got normal final girl logo, not shiny, and new final girl logo, shiny, as I showed earlier. Maybe that doesn't look as different as it could, but. All right, so let's open this up. Got my trusty box cutter. Let's get, there we go. All right, so I got the shrink wrap coming off finally. Um, get that aside, call me crazy, but I always save these back inserts, if I can get it off. All right, I always save these, I have a stack of them. Who knows what I'll do with them someday. Um, and let's take a look at that other side. Yeah, there's the Santa's Village side with Cindy the Elf. Looking pretty good, if you ask me. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty. Obviously, I haven't opened this yet, but I have seen quite a few posts and stuff on the Discord and Reddit. So I do kind of know what to expect. So first off, we've got Krampus. Let's just fold him down. So it looks like he starts off at 4 horror, 10 health. Um... Loving this artwork here. His bloodless tracks, pretty basic. Looks like he goes from one to four damage, one to three movement. He's got horror increases, dark power kind of in the usual spot. And as the top ability, he recovers health um, and discard the next tarot card. So that's pretty normal. Although four damage is, is dangerous, so up at the top. So let's take a look at this. We've got the special rules. There's the Krampus symbol there. If you can see it, if my camera will focus. This is showing what's in the box, which we will go over. And specifically the three miniatures that it's coming with. Um, 
Special rules for this aren't too difficult, so, you know, I think it actually make for a good sort of first uh, next step feature film after Hans and maybe Dr. Fright or The Intruders. Wow, that's really cool. I hadn't seen that yet. I'm liking that artwork right there. Bam. All right, so we've got the insert, and as we can see, we do have, looks like Krampus and Mrs. Claus on the killer side. And then we've got his cards, obviously. Oh, and can't forget, we've got uh, for Mrs. Claus's eyes only, her special, special item. We will not be opening that. Those are always a surprise. So let's uh, let's look at the miniature. This is Mrs. Claus. I'm gonna try and get a good. There we go. I think that's focused on it pretty good. Looks like a rolling pin in her hand. So I'm gonna guess that's what her special weapon is. Who knows what it does? She's got a cool cloak. Let's take a look at the back. Yeah, lots of detail on that. Very nice looking. And actually pretty big. Well, can't do it like that. Bigger than uh, I feel like some of the others are. But lots of detail on her there. I'm liking it. There we go, Mrs. Claus. All right, that's one miniature. Let's take a look at Krampus. All right, this one might be harder. He's kind of at a weird angle. Not sure what his weapon there is called. It's kind of, I don't know. Then he's got a little backpack with presents. Can we get his face more? There we go, his horns. He's the horned devil. Krampus the horned devil. There we go. It's kind of funny, I don't think. It's like a broom or something, his weapon. My kid has never really, uh, my boy, my five-year-old boy has never really known about Krampus, right? Christmas is everything right now. He finally knows what it is. The last two years have been cool. Uh, and he saw Krampus and he's like, is, is Krampus real? <laughs> he just looked at me like very worried. And he was trying to steal this card. He kept trying to take this. I don't know what he was trying to do with it, but he, he was very fascinated by Krampus. All right, well, let's get into the cards in a second. I'm seeing tokens. So these look like the present tokens. And it looks like we've got 18, although one is open, so kind of 17. Where did I put the rules there? Does it tell me? It says 18 various tokens. So what do we got here? We got that open present token is the same on both sides. And then these seem to be the ones that are just benefiting or not benefiting you. Discard the next tarot card, increase horror, decrease two time. We've got bloodlust, then we've got the uh, Krampus presents, the bad ones, the Santa presents. So there's four Santa, four Krampus, decrease horror and increase two time. These are the ones we wanna see. These are the ones we don't want to see. <laughs> All right. Just exactly the same tokens as what we've got in the past. I don't think there's anything under there. Nope. All right. So then we've got a stack of cards. I will go through. I'll show the dark powers and finales. You can pause the video if you want to see it. Um, I'm not going to go through all the terror cards and presents though, but, um, so there's the four good, or yeah, good Santa presents, the red. And there's a gift from Santa, a gift from Santa, a letter from Santa, and a snack from Santa. Very cool. So as you play the game, Krampus is laying down presents. You can open them up and hope you get something good. Or you could get something bad from Krampus. We've got four of these. We've got the horrifying vortex, the killer surprise, repelling force. There's that token we saw. 
and demonic suggestion yeah all right demonic suggestion note nobody can ever target themselves it's already been a question on the discord all right and oh and then we've got our final girls we've got cindy who we haven't seen yet she's got move one space as all of her uh victim save bonuses four of them and her special ability oh five health her special uh ultimate ability i should say is when you fail a walker sprint you treat it as a one success instead very nice very unique and we've got good old mrs claus six health her victim save bonuses are all healing and her ultimate if you don't know is to recover all your health and you no longer have a maximum health limit kind of like ratchet lady so she could get very beefy very cool so let's take a look at krampus here and yeah, it does look like a broom that he's got or something so uh, default killer action target the nearest victim or final girl and attack target the nearest victim or final girl and move and then drop a present i believe this is in an adjacent space and you roll like for panic to figure out which space it's going to go in um so interesting there he attacks in a space and then he moves kind of preparing for the next attack so we've got four finales unlike most and then four minor dark powers as well let's do the minor dark powers first so we've got explosive gifts blood and cookies that's that's just cool artwork <laughs> tantalizing gifts and the epic dark power never-ending gifts yes there's been questions on this one uh so yeah um victims don't open presents when this once this one's flipped that's the long and short of it all right and here we go with the finales so we've got bamf apparently a uh a reference to nightcrawler and x-men which i do not know because i don't i don't know that very well soul lust there's a double attack finale which one was this oh that was a double attack finale unholy gifts a double attack finale okay krampus isn't messing around and his epic finale past midnight a double attack finale okay so all his finales double attack and that is the difference being a special feature normally you have to get the bonus features box in each series to get all the epic finales for all the killers in that series but this one comes by default so that is the krampus side i'm gonna put everything back in and let's take a look at the uh santa's village side well actually i just realized we didn't do the tarot cards so as usual this comes with 16 tarot cards we got down through the chimney the claws are out the claws are out it has what jingle kills jingle kills coal balls coal balls oh no he's disguised as santa a silhouette in the distance a silhouette in the distance cursed caroling oh that one's kind of like Pulte, yeah, that is kind of like Pulte. Uh, another cursed caroling. We got a minor dark power, dem demonic will. Oh, geez, this one's horrible. If you are damaged by Krampus while this is in play, you lose all remaining health. Okay, then we've got North Pole magic. <laughs> he doesn't even have to move. He just teleports to the space and then anti-christmas spirit where he heals every time a present is open this one's got one thank goodness but these have three health okay it's no joke <clears throat> let's just put it that way all right so moving on to the other side santa's village let's pop this open take a look so here we've got santa's village i have not actually like detailed looked at this before all right so we've got the village center 
We've got this whole ring around the outside. This is interesting. So we've got Santa's workshop is a search space. Santa's house is for searching and the stables over here is for searching. We've got three exits. And then the runway, which is just named, but is not for searching. This is interesting. And the only way in or out of the village center is these two. Okay. Yeah. I hadn't actually looked at this super close before, but there you go. There's Santa's village. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> All right, I'm liking that one too. Got Krampus in the background there with the poor elves. Here's the rules. There's the symbol for Santa's village. The star. Looks like we've got one miniature for, uh, not Rudolph, can't remember which reindeer it is, and six various tokens and all the usual stuff after that. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of special rules. There's that awesome artwork again. Uh, besides um, the elves, they, uh, they take away your time whenever you move into their space because they chat you up so much. So let's take a look at, we got the two miniatures here. We got Cindy with what looks like her workshop hammer. Looking real nice there. Not as detailed as Mrs. Claus, but I mean, I wouldn't expect her to be. There's the back, Cindy. And which reindeer is this? I'm trying to remember, is it Comet? No, it's not Rudolph. This one is very detailed, actually. Oops, let me get it back into focus. Well, maybe it'll tell me. Comet, there we go. All right, let's get those guys back in there. We've got the tarot cards. Actually, why don't we just do these now because there's never very many in these. Eight tarot cards for location, fire. Everyone's favorite, right, from the cabins. Public execution. The elves are fighting back. Oh, I've heard good things about that one. <laughs> um, what else we got? Something is happening. Elf hunt. Santa, where are you? Where did it go? And prayer, prayer vigil. Sorry, I'm looking at this through the camera which is not ideal for reading. We've got tokens, probably off of event cards. There's the, um, hmm, I wonder if they give you the comet token as if there wasn't a miniature or if that actually goes to an event. It might actually go to an event. And then we've got the stack of mini cards. All this is the same. You get 10 events, five setups. 18 items, just like normal. So uh, let's, let's actually, well, yeah. All right, let's look at the, some events. I'm not gonna go through all these, but it's Santa. White, white meeple is the Santa, that's awesome. Head elf is orange meeple. Uh, and the Yeti is blue. We've got tree lighting ceremony, caroling, Blizzard, there we go, Northern Lights, coming in for a landing, Christmas Eve, there you go. All right, and here we go, we got the item. Okay, so that was an item token for Comet. Ooh, here, that was a busy, busy, busy. Draw two item, two, draw two events for an event? That's crazy. Why was that after this item card? Oh, yeah. So I guess that is for the um, for the mini because there was no there was no event with uh, comment. That's why. All right, we got a whole bunch of items. I'm just gonna milk and cookies, workshop hammer, BB gun, red wagon, Santa sack, candy, whistle, tree star, ice skate, 
Misfit Toys Snowballs. That one was cool. I saw a preview of that. Woodcutter's Axe, Slingshot, and Pepper Spray. Everyone's favorite from the camp, right? All right, and last but not least, we got the Setups, Reindeer Games, Krampus in the Middle, Toys, 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 Krampus off to the side, yeah. Uh, story Time, it's got us in the runway. Gather Round, where we start at Santa's house, everyone's in the middle, and Krampus starts in the stables. Final one, Back with Lumber, where we start in the center, he starts in the stables, and everyone's kind of spread out. All right, so that's all the setups, that's all the cards, period. Let's get these back in the box. Can't forget, we've got Cindy's special envelope. Won't be opening that till I win with her. That's my general way of doing it, is once I win with the feature film that they came in with that girl, uh, final girl, then I will open the envelope. Even if I win with them somewhere else, I will not open the envelope yet. I've still got a few from previous seasons because I've been mixing and matching so much. I haven't been playing the feature films kind of as they came as much. All right, so let's wrap it up. That is everything in the box for the North Pole Nightmare, Final Girl, um, coming to you for Christmas 2023, just in time. Really amazing how they did this and were able to get it to us, most of us just in time. Some, some areas of the world will probably be slightly after and uh, I might as well say here that if you haven't seen any of my videos yet you and you like Final Girl, then check out the last seven months of videos where I've done special rules videos for each feature film. So I've got 10 of them out now, all starting with Hans and all the basic rules and all the way through season one. There's a video for each killer and location. And same thing with season two, goes through all the way, you know, organism. Uh, Evo Morph, all that. And most of them are between five and seven minutes to give you all the special rules for the film, but some are longer. And I do plan on doing a North Pole Nightmare special rules video and uh, two for the vignettes, the Terror from Above and Terror from the Grave. I, after the holidays are done, that's the next plan. And also for Series 3, when it eventually comes next year, hopefully October, if they hit their target, uh, I'll be doing videos for all those feature films too. Although that'll be slower because I'll have to play them all first. But uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed this video, go check out some of those. If you're a fan of Final Girl, I've also got videos on other board games if you're interested in those too. And I cannot wait to play this. Uh, current plan is playing it tomorrow night. So, all right. Thanks everyone for watching. I just wanted to wrap it up saying Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to everyone. And I hope you've been nice and not naughty and Santa will come and visit you with good presents and not Krampus with his evil, nasty presence. And with that, Michael Skelton is out.